Nestled in the foothills of the majestic Pyrenees Mountains, Lourdes, France is more than just a charming town. It's a place where faith and history converge, a beacon of hope for millions of pilgrims seeking solace and spiritual renewal. The following is the story of the miracle that made Lourdes what it is today, and of the miracles that have continued to occur there since. Lourdes' transformation began in 1858. It was February 11, Bernadette Subaru was out near a grotto collecting firewood with her sister and a friend. At one point Bernadette glanced towards the nearby grotto. It was then that she saw her first vision of many, visions that would transform Lords forever. In Bernadette's own words, I raised my head and looked towards the grotto. I saw a lady dressed in white, wearing a white dress, a blue girdle and a yellow rose on each foot, the same color as the chain of her rosary. In the vision, the lady, now known as Our Lady of Lords, was praying the rosary. When Bernadette returned home, she told her parents what she had seen. Her parents forbid her from returning to the grotto for the next couple days. Three days later, Bernadette was allowed to return to the grotto and saw the vision again. Another four days passed before she again returned to the grotto and saw the vision. During her third vision, the lady spoke to Bernadette. She asked her to return to the grotto every day for the next two weeks. Bernadette complied. During these repeated visits the lady would give tasks to Bernadette. On the tenth visit, the lady in the vision told her, Drink of the water of the spring, wash in it and eat the herb that grows here. The day after, the villagers were shocked to see the once muddy grotto was now filled with clear and clean flowing water. Then, on the thirteenth visit, the vision again spoke to her. A chapel should be built and a procession formed. On the 16th visit, one of the longest visions occurred. During this vision Bernadette repeatedly asked the lady to identify herself. At first the lady only smiled, but eventually she relented and said, I am the Immaculate Conception. Identifying herself, as the Virgin Mary. Through the following years, the grotto was first barricaded, then opened once more. Later, after the visions had been confirmed through multiple investigations, the chapel was built. Several other churches and related infrastructures were built around the grotto, making up what is now called the Sanctuary of Our Lady of Lourdes. Bernadette Subaru was canonized as Saint Bernadette. Lourdes was now a place where confirmed miracles had occurred, but if this was the entire story, we would not be calling it the City of Miracles. The spring of the grotto, discovered by Saint Bernadette, has been shown to have miraculous properties. The spring has been responsible for over 7,000 reported healings to date. While many of these have other possible causes, there have been 70 with sufficient medical documentation and other relevant information to show no possible cause, outside of a miracle. To be called a miracle there are many tests that must be passed. The illness or condition must be thoroughly documented and provable. The illness or condition must be one that could not spontaneously recover on its own. The recovery must be immediate and complete. The facts of each case must be irrefutable and pass multiple levels of scrutiny, leaving no room for any other possible explanation. Each miraculous healing is thoroughly studied for years before it can be declared as a verified miracle. With over 7,000 reported healings, 70 and counting of which have been confirmed as miracles, Lourdes is truly fit to be known as the City of Miracles. To this day thousands of pilgrims flock to the City of Lourdes while uncountable others have created replica grottos around the world for those who cannot afford the trip. While many have turned to science or other forms of faith, saying that miracles only appear miraculous because we couldn't understand the science behind them in the past, miracles still occur today. With current technology it is not hard to find evidence of the Lord and His miracles, but that still can't compare to a real-world example any of us can go see and touch. Lords is such a place in our modern world where true miracles still occur. Thank you for watching. If you would like to see more of these videos please like and subscribe.